Hey everybody, this is Pastor Nat with Win the Day from Back to the Bible. Today we're going to talk about a really hard topic, and that is controlling our emotions and our mouths. I wish I wouldn't have said that. I can't tell you how many times I felt this way. I mean, just recently, I came home from work and I saw that something that I had tasked wasn't done. So I went to my oldest son. I didn't say hi. I didn't say, how has your day been going? I didn't even say, wow, thank you for all the work you've done around this house. It looks like you have been so busy, thank you. Instead, I got frustrated. And the one thing I came up to him and I said, look, why haven't you got this done? I told him off. Now, I know we're all prone to anger, criticism, slander, and even filthy language. Our mouths, <laughs> our reactions, they can get us into a lot of trouble. But there is a better way. Paul's going to share that better way in Colossians chapter 3, beginning in verse 8. But now is the time to get rid of anger, rage, malicious behavior, slander, and dirty language. Don't lie to each other. As you may remember, in the previous verses, Paul has told the Colossian church that their lives can reveal Christ to a broken world. Therefore, kill the existing sin in their lives. He mentions greed. He says to kill sexual immorality. And now, he nails some common struggles for us all. He says, get rid of. This is a term that means to take off. It's a metaphor for taking off clothes. He's saying, take off these old ways of talking, of living. Take off these old sin habits. And then he gets specific again. He mentions anger. Anger is that deep, resentful bitterness that tears us up and also tears others up. Now, being angry is not a sin by itself. Uh, anger can be justified. But there's also sinful anger that comes from pride. And you see, it's not just the anger. It's what we do with that anger that can be so sinful. Paul says then, take off rage. Rage are those sudden outbursts of anger that often leave people bloodied and bruised emotionally. He says, take off malice, which means moral evil. He says, take off slander or blasphemy. It's those words that are damaging. Uh, they're hurtful to people. But it's also blasphemy to God. You see, when you lie against another human being made in the image of God, it's blasphemy against the Creator. Paul then says, take off filthy language. Now, the idea here is abusive language. This ties back to the context of anger. But it also includes any filthy cursing or coarse joking or crude language. And then Paul says, oh, and by the way, <laughs> don't lie. If I could summarize Paul's admonition, it would be to refrain from anger and control your mouth. So here's my challenge for you. No, here's my challenge for us all today. Ask God for help. We need help from God to control our emotions and how we respond to them. When I began to criticize my son, the Spirit convicted me, and I apologized and I began again. But I know I would have been better off living in the power of the Spirit. So ask God for help. Ask Him for help controlling your tongue and ask God for help controlling your anger and your emotions. We want to glorify God and honor each other in our words, our actions, and our reactions. Thankfully, in God's power, we can.